guys, Wisteria here, and today, as you can see, I am officially logged into Animal Jam Play Wild. So I got a bunch of fun stuff planned for today's video. First of all, I'm gonna be uh, putting this on mute, and hopefully this video works out well. I am actually recording this video directly from my iPhone for the first time. So this is some super interesting stuff. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Hopefully it turns out okay. Anyways, so a lot of stuff has happened since I last played on Animal Jam Play Wild. As you can see, my daily member gift has finally showed up for some strange reason. My Animal Jam Play Wild account was not syncing with my actual main Animal Jam account. So yes, I am now receiving a daily gift of five sapphires for being a member on Animal Jam. So let us go ahead and accept this gift. And what the heck is this turkey feather set? I had no idea that we received weekly member gifts. That's pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and accept that. So here we have it. Your membership on AnimalJam.com is now active. Wow. Amazing, amazing stuff. Wait a second. Times two gems on all games? Guys, this is literally a gold mine. How the heck did I not know about this new version of play wild is available oh my goodness guys <gasps> i just remembered there is a play wild update today this is insane unfortunately i'm gonna have to be uh pausing things for a second so that i can obtain this brand new play wild update so i'll be right back Alrighty, guys so as you can see i am getting back on play wild after having installed the new update but unfortunately something extremely annoying happened you see kids i actually had already recorded this update but because i was using the new ios screen recording feature apparently my video was too long or something and it just deleted you know which was great just amazing i love it when that kind of thing happens you know it really made my day so unfortunately this update video is now not only going to be later than usual but also probably a little bit disjointed in comparison to a normal update video also i apologize if the audio quality is not up to par i am recording this from my phone so it might sound a little bit weird but you know it's just the easiest thing to do so anyways now that we have installed the play wild update let us click on the Jama journal. So first of all, I'd just like to note real quick, last Thursday was the browser version of Animal Jam's update, and Play Wild was supposed to update along with it, but for some reason it came out a couple days late and was actually released on this Tuesday, which was two days ago. So everything's kind of a little bit weirdly delayed, so maybe some of you have already seen all these features and some of you haven't. Hopefully you all still enjoy my uh, reviews of everything, because seeing as this is my second time recording this update video, I've actually gone ahead and purchased all of the new features. So now let's give this first page read. So here we have have pet king cobras. Oh man, that is some slithery stuff. Watch where you step. Pet king cobras have already appeared in Jama. These regal reptiles are ready and waiting to be adopted. Heck yes. We are definitely going to be checking out these pet king cobras and I believe they are located in the sapphire shop. So yes, we'll go on and head into there. But for now, on the next page, we have amazing armor. Spectacular armor sets have come to Jama. Check out the sapphire shop to see shimmering diamond encrusted armor and the lovely leaf armor. So this is a pretty cool new addition. If you play the browser version of Animal Jam, you all have already seen what the diamond encrusted armor looks like and it's also pictured on this little image But the leaf armor is what I'm really looking forward to because that seems pretty divine to me Anyways on the next side we have bubble chat awesome news bubble chat is now bigger and better than ever Check out all the new chat options plus the new emotes category that lets you express yourself like never before Oh heck yes looking forward to all these brand new emotes I'm gonna get real great at self-expression today I do have to announce something real quick though because guess what guys I am finally an adult I went ahead and activated free chat on my account. Check this out. Oh yes, we are typing away. Yeah, even though Animal Jam would never let me say that. If you all recall my last uh, Play Wild video, my chat was unfortunately restricted. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> it said I needed a parent's permission, so I went ahead and uh, asked my mom and dad, and uh, yeah, they got my free chat up, so hey folks. Definitely far superior to the bubble chat, unless of course you run into this kind of scenario where they won't let you type in the most random words but you know that's fine but anyways i'm getting a little distracted here let's head on over to the next page shall we so on this page we have the alpha headquarters oh! alpha headquarters now stands in jama township be sure to stop by to learn all about the brave leaders of jama and what makes them so amazing wow guys this is some incredible stuff so again in last thursday's update the browser version of animal jam also received a new alpha headquarters in jama township but a few days later play wild decided to catch up on the trend and also implemented an alpha headquarters we are definitely going to be checking it out reviewing it, comparing 
it to the desktop Animal Jam's Alpha Headquarters. And of course, on the other side, we have Alpha Headquarters has been outfitted with Alpha Armor sets, themed after each of Jamal's Alphas. Pick up a set and dress up like your favorite Alpha. <gasps> well, guys, again, this is no surprise because we've already seen the Alpha Armor sets on the desktop Animal Jam, but this will be another fun thing to check out. Maybe we'll buy ourselves some Alpha Armor. Ooh, that'll be super exciting. But anyways, let's head on over to the next page. So here we have the Arabian Palace. The desert is far from deserted. <laughs> the Arabian Palace has arrived for jammers who are ready to immerse themselves in the cradle of civilization. For more wonders, pick up the Arabian Palace bundle, which comes complete with this new den, music, and beautiful den items that won't be seen anywhere else. Well, guys, this better be the case because I've actually already gone ahead and purchased the Arabian Palace bundle, but don't worry. I'm going to be showing that all to you at the end of this Jamma journal reading. And now on the last page, we have pet wild turkeys. Oh, heck yes. Wild turkeys are my jam, guys. And then on the top here, we have Feast of Thanks. <gasps> so yes, essentially, the Feast of Thanks means the introduction of a new fall theme in Jamma. As you all can see, Night of the Phantoms has officially ended, so nothing is Halloween themed anymore. But instead, we've got some hay bales, fall leaves, pumpkins, and all that jazziness garnishing the town. I actually happen to greatly appreciate the Feast of Thanks decoration. Look at these leaves blowing around. It's so magical. Look at these gourds. That is some quality stuff. Alrighty, guys. So now, let's go on ahead and review all of the new features. So the first thing we have to check out are the pet king cobras. So let's pop on over to the sapphire shop, pick ourselves up a cobra. Well, okay, actually, I, I have, in fact, already purchased a cobra, but we'll be checking it out anyway. So as you can see, it is very spoopy looking. Got a standard color range and all that jazz. The eyes, though. The eyes were what got me with this because they're all um, pretty standard until we get to this. This kawaii-ness. And that is, in fact, what influenced my decision to purchase this bubblegum snack. Look at that kawaii-ness. This is almost too much kawaii-ness to handle. I know it's supposed to be a cobra, but it borderline looks like a My Little Pony character, and that satisfies me. And as you can see from the adoption certificate, the snack's name is Bubble Drop, and its favorite food is sausages, which means it's a pet after my own heart. Sausages are life. But yes, just take a minute to absorb this beauty. But anyways, I feel as though the snake is your standard kind of pet. As you can see, it's got a slithery little dance right there, so hopefully you all know what to expect with this dude. But now let's check out the rest of the new features. We've got some bubble chat updates, which are pretty amusing to me because, as you can see on this last tab here, we now have some very interesting emojis. And we even have some role-playing actions, such as winks, yells, wiggles, noms. These are definitely some very, very interesting new additions. I think it's actually hilarious that Animal Jam has literally implemented role-playing into their chat system. So that's right, kids. If you need to uh, break out a quick role-play, you know, now you can. <laughs> Sniffs. Yes, that is definitely an amazing one. Anyways, we also have amazing armor, so let's head back over to the sapphire shop and check out this brand new armor. So as you can see here, we've got the diamond encrusted armor on display. If we click this little shop button, bam! Oh yes, look at that. So I've actually already purchased the amulet, but maybe I'll give the tail armor a try. So as you can see, here are two pieces from the diamond set. I'm not gonna buy the whole thing because it's kind of a lot, but I think it looks pretty rad. It definitely reminds me a lot of the version that they already have in Animal Jam, but I think it looks a little better on Play Wild, to be perfectly honest. But we're actually gonna be heading back in and checking out this leaf armor. So for some reason, the leaf armor doesn't show up in this armor section, which you would imagine it would. Instead, we actually have to go all the way to the end and click on this little clothing rack, and there we have it. We've got a leaf helmet, the leaf armor, and also leaf tail armor, which is pretty exciting because last time I checked, the leaf tail armor wasn't even available. So I'm actually going to be buying the tail armor and making myself a little leaf outfit. Here are the other armor pieces that I've already purchased. And what the heck is this? Do you guys see this tail right here? What the heck happened to my wolf's tail? <laughs> the wolf's natural tail literally just disintegrated in favor of a leaf. What is happening? But you know what, guys? That's all right. I am rocking this bug look. At least I think I'm rocking the bug look. I look kind of like a leaf bug, but I dig it. I think I'm strutting this pretty well. Let us now pop on over to the brand new Alpha Headquarters that has emerged in Play Wild. Naked mole rats have been known to chew through concrete. Wow. Good for the naked mole rats. Thank you, Animal Jam, for always providing the most quality information. Anyways, so here we are in the Alpha Headquarters, and oh my goodness, guys, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot even explain. It was beautiful on the regular browser version of Animal Jam, but on Play Wild, it's somehow even better. The colors are just so nicely saturated. Look at the Sir Gilbert statue. It looks like a sunset. Oh my goodness, guys. This is amazing. I don't 
don't really remember what Club Geos looked like on Play Wild, but I definitely don't mind if it was replaced with this because this is actually beautiful. And of course, we can learn the facts about all of our alphas and such. Now, interestingly enough, on the second level, the artifacts in the Play Wild Alpha headquarters are different than the ones in Animal Jam. There's no mirror feather here or gems. So yes, we have some different kinds of artifacts. I'm not really sure what the meaning behind that is, but that is definitely something to take into consideration. So yes, we can check out facts about all these little artifacts over here. And then on this side, we can buy ourselves some alpha armor, which is pretty amazing. I wasn't going to buy alpha armor before, but now I think I will. I think I'm going to buy the Greeley armor set. Now this is definitely a bit of a pricey purchase. These armor sets are 150 sapphires total each. So that's definitely something to think about, but I have to say this alpha armor is pretty popping. I can't lie. Just take a look at this. Oh yes, that is some divine stuff. The wings are absolutely huge. It actually looks super pretty on here. I think that the armor sets on Play Wild are actually a lot prettier than they are on Animal Jam. I know I bought the pet armor set on the browser version of Animal Jam, but I, I'm just feeling it, man. I'm feeling it. The Sir Gilbert one also looks pretty great. I do approve of this new place. So the next thing on our agenda is the Arabian Palace set. Now this is kind of frustrating because I've actually already purchased this bundle. So as you can see here, if we click on this, you get all the stuff in this picture. So that's a heck ton of items. I'm actually going to be popping over to my den right now since I've already purchased all of it. And uh, maybe I'll decorate something up real quick. <laughs> as you can see, I don't have very many dens on here, but I was fortunate enough to get my hands on the Arabian Palace. So yeah, if you want to see it at any point, you can always feel free to search me up, pop on over to my den. I even put two of my pets on display here, which is pretty amusing because I was using the snakes and now there's somehow two of them in the den. That's uh, always interesting. Basically, as you can see, we have a huge level up here, smaller room up here, and then the very grand large floor at the bottom. We've also got a little pasture out back with some jumps for the horse. I'm not really sure if we can even jump over these jumps, but you know, fun decoration, I suppose. We got some fires surrounding the outer edges and a giant in-ground pool, which we can actually tread in very slowly. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, pool floats. It's not a part of the budget, but you know, that's all right. I do like this done a lot. I'm not really so sure how it compares with other Play Wild dens, but I think that this one's pretty cool. I feel like it's probably not as big as some other dens I've seen, but it definitely has that regal look to it, which is pretty nice. So this is our snazzy hidden oasis theme. Sounding pretty mysterious. I'm not really sure if it's a good idea to leave it on, because I don't even know if I can hear myself over this music, so I'm gonna be turning that down for now, but anyways, I do like that music. It will be a nice theme to have playing in the den, definitely better than the uh, Mon Township theme. So now let's go ahead and plop some items in here. Here is our Arabian Horse Fountain. Get a better view of that. Oh, would you look at that? That is some divine stuff right there, folks. And how about the rest of our items? Alrighty, so here we've got this- Okay then, I don't even know what the heck I just did, but you know, that's um, it's really cool. This is uh, some great, great item placement right here. Uh, maybe I should uh, move this around a little bit. Uh, I can flip. Oh, there we go. What an improvement, guys. This is a perfect way to display an Arabian fountain, and it is definitely physically possible for water to flow that way. <laughs> All right, let's decorate the rest of our den then. So we got a tea set that's pretty cute. Got a couch too. I'm just literally putting this in random places. Wow, I'm such a pro decorator, aren't I? But yeah, I definitely think that these items are pretty. They match the den well, that's for sure. Gotta get our throne in here and we'll put a little table next to that. And we'll put our lantern. That's a good spot for it. We have three Arabian items left. This massive archway. Man, oh man, I was not expecting it to be that size. Let's put that here at the entrance. Can also- what the- heck. Did you guys see the second I put the statue in the den it's just it's like nope. I'm just gonna you know casually fall right into the staircase you know that's some great placement. Wow guys I am literally the best den decorator on the planet. Look at this beautiful beautiful statue arrangement. It's just jutting out of the stairway. Man oh man. I should definitely win the den decorator of the year award. Someone put me in epic dens. I'm definitely worthy of that title. Especially the fountain sticking out of the wall. It's my favorite aspect of this den. But anyways as you can see, this is a very expansive regal bundle with a bunch of items, and I think that that's pretty fun. And last but not least, we have pet turkeys now available in the pet shop, right next to the King Cobra, of course. Look at that amazingness. Now, the turkeys on here are not quite as derpy as they are on Animal Jam. These eyes are pretty quality, but I'll actually show you the pet turkey that I ended up adopting. The man, the myth, and the legend, Angry Toast. The second I saw these angry eyes, I was just thinking, man, wouldn't it be great if I created a vengeful Thanksgiving turkey look? But I think that 
that despite the angry outward appearance um angry toast is overall a pretty chill dude so you know i'm pretty proud of this of this pet turkeys are definitely a fun animal and that dance is everything so i'm going to have to rate this update an 8 out of 10 because i know that play wild's update style is more of like add some new items and that kind of thing so this definitely was very heavy on the sapphire item edition maybe they could have made some stuff available for gems but in terms of features they did add an entire new room so that is definitely something that can be enjoyed by all play wild members and they've also improved the bubble chat and decorated it up for thanksgiving so i think that those are some pretty fun new updates but anyways guys one last thing before i end this video as you can see there is a new little button in the top right corner of my screen that says ar now this is an update that not everyone has received but i will actually be explaining this new feature and reviewing it in an upcoming video so stay tuned for that i have noticed this feature i'm just not going to review it in this video because i've already uh, reviewed a heck ton of stuff and recorded this multiple times so yes that is just about going to wrap it up for this little play wild update video again i apologize that it came out so late but hopefully you all enjoyed it anyway please be sure to comment below your thoughts on this update what you liked what you didn't like because i don't know i'm just kind of curious to know what you guys think because my opinion can definitely be a little bit different than the average person's and anyways guys with that as always thank you all so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye